Hi everyone, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to be making painter earrings. Let's go! My idea for this project was to have two separate earrings. One a miniature painting brush and the other a miniature painting palette. I decided to first start out with the palette, having an image of an oval, wide shape in mind. For this project, I used the air dry clay that I opened in my last video. I shaped it with the tools available to me. It was a bit difficult to get the shape and flat edge right, but I think I managed it in the end. For the little hole, I used the small ball end of my sculpting tool. Sorry, I don't know what they're called and I can't research the name right now because I'm not feeling like it. Then I used a slightly bigger one to poke in the small thingies where the paint goes. Then the first session was over and I put it away to dry. Let's hope that sandpaper will fix this. Then I went in for the miniature brush. It works. I decided to cut up the real brush tip as well as its wooden end with a metal saw and then glue them together somehow. My plan for this, as always, was to wing it. After cutting off the tip, I sanded the edge to get it even and also to make it a little shorter. Then I was left with two short pieces and I held them together, stared at them and waited for my big brain to come up with an idea on how to combine them. Oh, there's an idea. And my glorious idea was to use a thin toothpick to connect both brush pieces and clay to smooth out the gap. It was quite hard to poke a hole into the wooden part. That would probably have been a much easier method. It's gotta be the stupidest idea I ever had. And why do I think this would work? But trust me, it just works. And bonus, it gave me an idea how to connect the hook later. I know it looks weird right now, but I'll just trust the process. Super glue, which solves all problems. Cure lots of sanding to perfect the shapes of my pieces. Kinda, I really feel the urge to just snap this in half. Is that just me? Next, I added the first of many, many painting layers to come. I was quite concerned about the thickness of the palette, scared that it would break easily, so I added lots of painting layers. I also decided to add some clay to the end of the painting brush to improve its shape. And then I came across one problem. Well, it is a little big compared to this. The painting brush became too big compared to the palette. The scale was off, so I needed to figure out how to get them to hang at the same height. I needed to add something to the palette part, but I didn't know what yet. I also realized that the painting brush was just too thick compared to the palette, so I decided to go back and use sandpaper on it and then repaint it. I just want to say that nothing is perfect and your artwork is going to look not perfect for a very long time and it is questionable whether it will ever feel that way. Probably ruined everything. <laughs> Hurdles and mistakes along the way are completely normal. The main thing is that you enjoy the process and the result. Then after some bizarre experiments that we are not going to get into, it was time to unveil my glorious idea on what to add to the palette by not capturing the moment on camera. The idea was, of course, to add a paint-stained cloth to it, as I often use one myself to wipe my brushes. It was quite fun to add the colors to it, and I love how I did it with it resting on the real thing. That was not planned. The planets of the chaos that rule me just happened to align. Then I came to the arguably most satisfying part of the process, adding paint to the palette. Bonus points if you know the meaning of the colors I'm adding first.
Switching back to the pain cloth. I do need to switch tasks often or my brain is going to explode. I sewed or sewed two tiny rings on both sides to its center to attach it to the palette. And big disclaimer, I have never done this before. I haven't researched how to do this. I am just looking at the tools and winging it. So when in doubt, don't copy me. Oh God, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. And if you only hold me tight, we'll be holding on forever. And we'll only be making it right, cause we'll never be wrong. Oh, it needs to be on both of the other side. One of them needs to go to the other side, I think. Let's hope this is enough. As a finishing touch, I decided to cut a bit off the brush hairs in order to get the scale to seem more realistic, almost ruining everything. But I think I saved it. Next, I connected a piece of tissue to the palette with jump rings that you can pry open and close again way easier than I expected. Finally, a good coat of gloss varnish. As you might be able to see, I also added more color to the palette after some feedback I got from other people. After the gloss varnish and earring hooks, they're all done! If you got until here, thank you so much for sticking around and watching. If you like this video, I plan on making more, so feel free to subscribe. I also link my other socials in the description. Hope to see you again. Bye. Here I am wearing the earrings. Well, this one isn't, um, hasn't had the glaze yet, but I'm kind of busy. I kind of didn't get done everything done quickly and I'm going somewhere tonight. And I was getting ready and I don't see the, I think it's weird getting ready just for a YouTube video. And they're not going anywhere, so I wanted to film the outro, but then I will finish it these afterwards. <laughs> but um, it's not gonna change much. They're gonna be there's gonna be glaze, that's all.